guys and welcome back to another episode of Make It Easy. Today we are going to prepare an all-time classic Greek dish using only one pan. Skillet pastizio. This recipe features rigatoni pasta, a hearty meat sauce and a silky bechamel sauce on top. In one pan everything will be ready in under 30 minutes. In 30 minutes will be ready. So let's begin first with the pan. I need a non-stick pan on heat and I will start chop chop everything. 30 minutes with chopping everything, okay, like this? So this is very important. We don't have everything prepared. We will chop chop everything. Now I have a carrot, a little bit of celery, and, and I will chop chop them. This dish pasticcio is one of the most classic Greek dishes. Many people know moussaka, but actually in Greece, we're eating more pasticcio than moussaka. Pasticcio is more popular to Greeks. But for non-Greeks, moussaka is uh, more famous. Anyway, this is one of the classic dishes that uh, I had since I was a child and every Greek. So this is a recipe you have to try it. It's actually very easy. And today the way I will make it with only few ground meat and some pasta, it will be easy for everybody. My onion, the carrot and the celery is ready. I have one clove of garlic also. I will smash it and chop chop it and I need some butter I need some butter on the pan and I will add a little bit of olive oil to make sure that you will not get angry with me now the butter is in and the veggies are in and we need a nice caramelization along with the meat I have some ground beef here and actually with this pan you can feed up to six to eight people okay so be prepared because something yummy is coming. Now, be patient for about five minutes to saute everything. I need some salt. I need some pepper. And I will be back in five minutes. This is a cheat. Just a pinch of cinnamon. Don't say nothing to anybody. Okay, to become more spicy. Ah, and now it's time to add tomato paste and do not be stingy. Add a good amount of tomato paste, some tomato, some water, and the pasta. You can use any pasta you like. This is rigatoni. And at this point, probably you will think that my pan is overcrowded but do not worry, lower the heat, add a bit of sugar because we don't want it to be sour. And now be patient for about 10 minutes until the water evaporates, the pasta is completely cooked. And after that, we'll prepare a speedy bechamel sauce and straight into the oven for a few minutes, take a nice golden color. And my pasta is ready. At this point, taste a little bit the seasoning. At this point, we have a bolognese, right? But now we will transform this bolognese into pasticcio. How? We will make a bechamel sauce, so we need only three ingredients. Ah, there may be four. Okay, so I need two eggs. One, two, and the key ingredient is what, like this? Cream cheese. I also make this recipe with uh, Greek strain yogurt. It's nice, but it has this sour taste to the very end. And it is nice, but it doesn't look like uh, uh, bechamel sauce. It's more like a yogurt sauce. So if you add cream cheese or mascarpone cheese, you will have exactly the same texture and taste of bechamel sauce. Now, cream cheese, eggs, some parmesan, and some nutmeg. And I will add a little bit of pepper and mix and mix everything. We want to combine everything. And voila! This bechamel sauce is the naughty ingredient of the recipe. I will add some parsley to give some color. And on the top of it, what is going, my friend, like this? 
the speediest and the naughtiest bechamel sauce ever. Nobody will know, except me and you, that this is actually cream cheese with eggs and parmesan. And spread it evenly. Oh my God, it's so finger licking good. It's so tasty, it's so delicious, so easy to prepare. And of course, the parmesan cheese is always necessary if you want to add more flavor to your dishes. So, I will take my zester and should I be stingy like this? So let me know when to stop. Yeah, now. It's time to grill this bad boy. So my oven is preheated to 200 degrees and set to the grill. I will add my pan in, I will close my oven and we need about five minutes. It depends on the heat of your oven. And in five minutes, when we have this golden crust on the top, the food is ready. We will set it aside for about 20 to 30 minutes because we want to cut a piece of it and then we will serve it. And my pasticcio is ready. It's time to cut it into portions. I think that if you cut it like this, then you have two portions here. Lovely. What do you think, Michalis? It is perfect. And this is how we serve it in Greece. Because actually this is a complete meal. You don't have to add anything else. You have the pasta, you have the protein from the meat, you have of course the bechamel sauce, you have everything is in there. It's the most tasty thing ever. Nothing can compare with this lovely dish. Nothing. I can literally stay here and enjoy my meal for the rest of the day. It is amazing. Steaming. But it is so satisfying. Po, po, po. Like this? What you have to do now? No, no. Subscribe. Bravo. Follow the social media and... Hoppa!